I, I am gonna video record this I really have on the wrong spot on the wrong place but tonight uh, I really got almost a nervous breakdown I just got up from the table if you paid attention to the last news I posted was related to complete destruction of my personal items watch watches wallets theft of the watches theft of even money from the wallets Robert Golob and Gregor Golobich were the main one in it but now it's time for me to explain on how the theft of my wife is uh, I have written down gold have taken place and that was a big 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 mistake because there was some uh, gold chains and stuff like that but this is where the mistake was and that's what I'm gonna use the police to have Miran Kuchan investigated the one who knew about all this stuff was Central Intelligence Agency as well as the Federal Bureau of Investigations, uh, American CIA, therefore, Central Intelligence Agency, and American Federal Bureau of Investigations. And the thing about it is that I made a big mistake, you know, when I stated, well, you know, it was a theft of gold and stuff like that. Um, I yet have to learn about what's going on with my ex-wife from Ecuador uh, but what really happened was the following thing in 1996 95 and 96 uh, Milan Kuchan personally penetrates into a building where I used to live on Miami Beach uh, that was at 353 West 47th Street on Miami Beach he penetrates inside. He has Robert Golob, Golobich. This criminal associates with him, younger generation. And what he does is he absolutely have everything inside of the apartment evaluated. Uh, he absolutely records, video records absolutely everything. He had them record a video record absolutely do total ransacking of the apartment inside and what he finds inside of the apartment really uh, of course it's a gold from my ex-wife uh, my ex-wife dated collectioners um, really really wealthy people from Miami uh, who would here and there give her uh, certain things certain items which were not gold but you're talking about the collection of money coins golden coins one of the people who also gave her uh people who also gave her coins they were really really expensive just happens to be queen elizabeth and what used to be prince charles now king charles we're not talking about 15 to twenty thousand dollars theft uh, and we're not talking about what Milan Kuchan, who met Teresa Baquero, was her name, from my ex-wife, stated that, that she told them it was, I don't know, worth five or ten thousand dollars that was stolen from her, that they already made an agreement and stuff like this. That's not the way this stuff is going to go because of what I'm about to tell you next. Milan Kuchan was very interested in those golden coins. He wanted to know how much they were worth. He wanted to know absolutely everything, how much those coins are worth. And the market together with Mr. Jankovic, now mayor from Ljubljana. Zoran Jankovic was deeply involved in this issue too. There were many others. They knew about this stuff. And what they would do is they did not steal them. They didn't steal them, but they went ahead and continued with MK Ultra procedure. And then I don't know when um it just happened so that 
theft took place. Uh, my ex-wife, much older than myself, didn't pay attention how much those coins were worth or whatever. Uh, those coins could be worth millions of dollars. King Charles learned about these coins and he stated the coins that he gave to my ex-wife were worth a lot of fucking money. A lot of fucking money. He was very angry also about this stuff. And he alone stated he gave the word that it was a theft for a lot of money that took place. Um, I don't know what, how much weight of the gold that was worth to my wife, but this was not a regular gold. You're talking about the collection of coins, very, very expensive coins. Milan Kuchan could not get these coins out of the head. Uh, he was, he ordered a total investigation of these coins. He wanted to know absolutely everything about how much these coins are worth. He got collectioners and again was using a completely side channels. He never investigated by himself because it would be evident. He always was using other people to do the stuff for him so that he would look, you know, as clean as much as possible. I don't know what year was it, but it must have been around 2000, I don't know. Not much after this news, the wife told me uh, that uh, is this money that's gone. Uh, and uh, I had no fucking idea. They even became suspicious about me, which is insane, really. Everybody knew that I was not the one, that I had nothing to do with it. She went ahead and she defended me that that's something impossible I would do. I never would do stuff like this. What Milan Kuchan used Robert Golob and Golovich, now you're going to learn also who did it and how it was done. They contracted a son from the maintenance of the building. His name was Frank. And he was from Dominican Republic. The whole family was from Dominican Republic. It was uh, Maritza Velasquez. And it was her husband, whose name I don't know. A daughter, daughters, two daughters. And he, and Frank. Uh, I don't know, Frank. I don't know if this was, I, I think this was his son, all right? It's supposed to be his son. And they incited this Frank into violence against me, uh, claiming that I'm a racist and that kind of stuff went on. So he started to engage in violence. And not much after he started to engage in violence, they started to engage him in violence in 97. This was insane in 98. Who the fuck knows when this stuff was stolen, really, because not did wife nor did I pay attention to this money. This she she was she kept this money inside of the apartment. This is a really stupid thing to do. But this is what a lot of Americans do, that stuff. They keep the fucking money, gold and shit, uh, inside of the fucking housing and stuff like that, which is crazy stuff to do. Um then one time, uh, a news came out. I was asking, I asked Maritza, I said, I didn't have any kind of problem with this guy, like in the real time. You know, this shit, violence and all that stuff was always during MK Ultra. And, you know, I don't even know. He was apologizing something. He even stated that he was the one who had stolen this money. And, he was the one who have stolen this money. It doesn't matter whether he stolen this money. What matters is that he took a, a responsibility upon himself. He assumed the responsibility upon himself. However, his mentor, his owner was Milan Kuchan with Robert Golob. Robert Golob knows him. That was his brother from Robert Golob, a bro. Bro, like Robert Golob demanded from me to see him like a bro too, like a brother. And I declined to have anything with this parasite. And this Frank all of a sudden disappeared 
Frank all of a sudden disappeared to, uh, there was something I was told that he had done in the U.S. Uh, with uh, the kind of problem with the police or whatever, and he, uh, that he even escaped to uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, what kind of sense the fuck does it make? It does, because uh, if the Central Intelligence Agency or Federal Bureau Investigation, who was involved in this stuff, wanted to step on his tail, they couldn't do anything about it, because I was told that Frank was killed in Dominican Republic as a young man. Uh, was he really killed as a young man in Dominican Republic? Probably, I would say, 99% not. And probably those coins were not worth it, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Those coins were probably worth millions of dollars. Uh, Milan Kuchan with Zoran Jankovic, with Zoran Jankovic, would not compromise himself in 1995, 1996, to do a, such an extensive research. Uh, the point here is, is that Milan Kuchan offered my ex-wife whatever she said or whatever she thought at least it would be good if she would get money but not really the value not really the amount of money as much as those coins really would be worth if she was to take them out someplace and have them evaluated do you understand what the fuck i'm saying so he gave her like a round cost like a change for those coins whatever she said after she lost completely everything as a form of uh, goodwill, as a form of, you know, mercy, as a form of something. When, in fact, he was completely obsessed, eager about committing a theft of those coins. According to Milan Kuchan, in 95 and 96, those coins were worth a lot of money, according to Milan Kuchan. So I do like to have Federal Bureau investigation release exactly what went on with these coins, what truly went on, where those coins are, what exactly happened. And one time I even mentioned on my website that uh, this guy, I don't know, that, that he was no good. Yeah, he was no good. Uh, and that he was killed in the Dominican Republic and stuff like this. We need to be a thorough investigation also about this done. So if we come to the bottom whether this guy is still alive or not because he got his own story to tell. Uh, did he stole those coins? Uh, who the fuck knows? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. The point is, like in everything else, is that he assumed upon himself where those coins are, without absolutely any doubt, they did go through Slovenia. They most likely are right here, inside in Slovenia. Thanks for watching this video. I couldn't take it anymore inside when I was doing this stuff. I said to myself, I'm gonna fucking get nervous breakdown. I started to, I was watching watches and all of a sudden it came to me. All of a sudden I was asking myself, what the fuck was that I did never have? I had money, but I never, I never, I never had the money inside of the wallet. I didn't have the wallets anymore. I didn't wear the watches anymore. And it was tonight that I actually recall what the fuck went on inside of our house, literally, with the novel master police, just as I have written on the website with, again, with Gregor Golovic, with Robert Golob, with Milan Kurchan and stuff like this. This stuff needs to come out so that the world, I don't give a fuck what here in Slovenia, this, this is forget about, uh, needs to know what this little country is all about, because it's a Slovenia in a circle love inside of that Slovenia. It's time for this country to become famous for what it really is. In 2000, it was Association NOB, Narodno Osvobodilna Borba. As a matter of fact, there is a statue right there that's dedicated not only to them, but also to my grandfather and both sides of the family. National Liberation Front decided they're gonna took the whole fucking thing upon themselves. And it was King Charles who stated, well, I wouldn't want any different than that. But now it's time for these people to be held responsible because what they did was they turned extermination, genocide procedure, 
into something completely different and assume all the responsibilities by giving Milan Kuchan basically unlimited power, basically ownership of me, through which European Union partners, United States of America, Canada, Australia, British and everybody else then brokered crime. 